Okay, let's look at how you create your Zoom webinar. Now, inside here, we're in our uh, admin section or area of Zoom. And over here on the left-hand side, you'll see profile meetings, webinars. Now, this uh, you can only see webinars if you have a pro account. We do a lot of webinars. And again, a webinar is for those people who are wanting to do more of the boardroom style presentation with a PowerPoint. You're not looking for a lot of feedback. You don't need to see the people. They ju you just want them to see you and focus more about on the presentation. Whereas with a meeting, everyone's sort of focusing everywhere else. Whereas let's talk about webinars. So we click here, we click on webinars. When I click on webinars, we'll see all of the webinars that we've got coming up. So we have a regular weekly webinar for some of our business partners. We come in here, we click schedule a webinar. Now let's call this uh, learning. Uh, so we're gonna give it a good topic. Uh, the, let's call it three tips to creating the perfect webinar. Whoops. Now down here we give it a, uh, and it hopes if you don't dig things, most people suffer anxiety every time they go to put on a webinar. Uh, today's uh, video, we will give you the three tips that will remove anxiety, make putting on your first webinar a breeze, and uh, show you how to get your um, uh, registrants receiving a reminder email. Uh, click subscribe or whatever button you've got set up to join. Okay, so we also can have a template set up. So we've got different templates here uh, that we've done for previous things, but we'll, we'll show you where to do that in just a moment. We can set up our date. So let's set this up for today. We'll set it up for say uh, four o'clock, goes for an hour. And I could decide right here if I want it to be a reoccurring webinar. If I click here, watch what happens. Then you'll see daily, uh, weekly, monthly. If I wanna make it weekly, then I can choose if I want it every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday every week, I can set that up here. Um, now, down here, you'll see something important. If you untick here, this means that you can send a link and uh, people will not have to register. They'll just come straight onto the webinar. However, I like everyone to register because I get to, gen I get to claim their email and name, and then I can import that into my contact management system. So I leave this here. Now here we can have attendees register once and can attend all of the occurrences, totally up to you. Attendees need to register for each occurrence to attend, which is important if you're doing a paid uh, registration or if you've got information specific for each attendee. Uh, once and can choose one or more occurrences they want to attend. So here, if we click here, uh, will show what this looks like. This is actually a new setting that Zoom have just put in. This means that you can have multiple times that a webinar can host and they can choose the time that best suits them. Now, webinar password, you can set up a password and you can make it up yourself and it goes in here. Videos, you have your host video on, panelist videos on or off. I'll put that on to scare my panelist. Now remember, a panelist is not a participant or a registrant. Your panelist is kind of like you. They're there to help you, support you running your webinar. Here, audio, very, very important that you have both of these, that you have both tipped. Why? Because some people's internet is terrible. And so the way that they are able to come in and hear you, and it doesn't affect their bandwidth as much as if they uh, can, can log in and use their phone number to dial in. Uh, they'll still view it on their computer. They'll still view everything on the computer, which will use their normal uh, internet. 
However, the audio will come through a phone number, so they'll hear that on their phone. So that when they log in, they'll hear it from the phone. Webinar options, a Q&A session, which are uh, area, which I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Enable a practice session, yes. We want this set up so that when you log in, you can do some setup promo, or setup sessions before, sorry, setup areas before they come in, uh, and then you press a button which allows people to come in once you're ready to go. If you don't have this, if you do not have this ticked first, then what will happen is they will come in at the same as you, and you don't have any time for preparation. Uh, only authenticated users can join, which means you have to authenticate them. Record the webinar automatically. If I click that, then it'll tell me where do I want to record it to my cloud account or to the computer. We'll turn that off. Alternative hosts. These people need to have an account with Zoom for them to be an alternative host. And you would put their name and email here and they would receive a reminder or information. Now we press schedule. And once we've pressed schedule, we're going to be able to actually even make some more changes. So here we can see what it looks like. We can see the occurrences. I can set it as a, uh, I can add it to my diary. Here's the webinar ID. All of this information is right here. Now down here though, this is, this is what you don't see. This is what you want to make sure uh, that you may want to make some changes. Here is your registration URL. So this is the URL. You can just copy that and this is everything that you'll get, okay? And then you would either email that to someone, put it up on a Facebook post or whatever. But the main thing you're looking for is this link here. You may want to just put this link on a webinar, on a registration website that you set up. If you want to make it look pretty yourself, you may want to um, send that link out in an email, a Facebook messenger and that, because you don't need all of the rest of the information always. If I copied that, and then that would just copy all of this information. Um, create a different registration link. So here, have a look at this. We can come here, enter the name or origin of the source tracking URL. So we can click that in and add that in here. Don't worry too much about that. Now, if we come down here, all of this information. Now we come here to email settings. This is important if you want people to receive a reminder about the uh, the webinar. I highly recommend you set this up. Uh, invitation to panelists. So if I would like to have um, uh, an email or I would like to invite other panelists, then I would come in here and I would invite them on to the webinar. Email contact, there's my email address and confirmation email. So this is confirmation email to registrants and send upon registration. We click here. So here's what will get sent out. Now we can type in a little bit of extra information here. This will go out in an email to remind them of the webinar. Many times people forget uh, to send this or set this up. So that's the confirmation. So once they register, they get the confirmation. This one is the reminder. This is so important, especially if they've registered a week or two out before the webinar. You click on here to click edit and you choose when do you want this go out. I recommend an hour before, a day before, and a week before. Do all three and press save. That way they will not remember, sorry, will not forget that the webinar is happening, especially if they use the correct email address. Don't worry about whether people, if you think people are going to get bombarded with emails, don't worry about that. Remember, as we tell all of our clients, the moment you stop talking about their problems is the moment they stop listening and people are getting bombarded with information all of the time. So you wanna have that set up. Your follow-up email is the email that goes out what, after the event, is, event has happened. Um, so you might want to write something up here. And we'll go, hi, thank you for attending. Um, here's our special giveaway we promised. Okay. Um, or you might want to send, uh, here's the recording. Okay, and you send out the link to the recording in that there. I press save. 
or cancel. Okay, no, uh, no follow up email to absentees or you might want to put down here, you might want to set that up and we go, hi Bella, we're sorry you weren't able to attend, here's the recording. And I highly, and you would just poppy, copy and paste that into there. I would highly recommend that you do that, that you send the recording or you send the link to where you're going to host the recording branding. You can come in here, you can set up a banner that is going to be displayed on the registration page. So let's change this and we might make this something a little bit different. Uh, let's just, oh, just, we're just gonna use something here just to be a little bit of fun. So this is gonna change something here. Uh, this is just something I made up for another thing I did. Uh, we can upload our logo. We come here, type in logos. And so let's use our social, Rise Social Media logo. And what size, did they say 600 by 600. So let's go with the 400 by 400. Okay. And speakers, attendees can uh, see the speaker information so I can add who the speaker is going to be. If I'm going, I can put myself there or you can put yourself there or your other speakers that you're going to have so they see who they are on the registration page. Uh, you can change the theme to the button color that you're looking for. So because we use a gold, I might make the gold, uh, the button probably a gold color. I don't remember the code, but that was sort of, looks very close. So the button would look gold because that then works with our branding. Um, webinar survey, we can, you can set up a webinar survey and there you go. So next we come on over, I wanna press, oh, let's double check something. No, don't need to save it yet. I can set up a poll. So I can add a poll for instance. So come here and say, ask a question and then suggest what their answers would be. Q&A section is right here. Uh, integration, prospects in, uh, I don't actually, we won't worry about that today. Live streaming, here's where the different areas they can live stream. So if I go over here now and let's have a look at what the page will look like if I send a URL. So I'm gonna copy this URL. Come over here, open a new tab, click on that. So as you can see, this is the image along the top, webinar registration, my logo is here, the three tips. They can choose the webinar they would like to participate in, okay? Choose the one there, they put their name and they press register. It's actually quite a nice looking, very simple, very clean looking webinar registration template. And I would, yeah, you can use that. I would probably connect this up to a different theme so that I would have the registration button above the fold. At the moment, it's below the fold, which is not ideal, but that's where it is if you don't wanna go into that. So let's now start the webinar. We come back here, we press start this webinar. Open up Zoom. Now, I, I believe, okay, so we're gonna set it up. I can either go with my phone call so that if I've got an issue with my bandwidth, but I'm just going to set up this with computer audio for today. Now, I'm going to mute myself here. Now, you'll notice along the top here an orange, which is a section that says practice mode only. This is important because now my registrants cannot get in here until I am ready. So I can spend a moment or two setting things up, being ready, being prepared. Uh, so for instance, if, I look, um, if I've if i got panelists that I have invited, they would have been set up inside of Zoom. So we'll just go back in here to Zoom and edit here for my panelists and I can add a panelist. Let's say I want to add uh, Naomi as a panelist. So I would just go here, Naomi Joy, and then I add up here, Naomi, uh, at blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 then what would happen is Naomi would receive a email and she would come in here she would receive a different email or a different registration link and she should be able to she would be able to register and log in and i would see her over here as one of the panelists immediately and she would also see this screen she would come in immediately she wouldn't be out in the holding room with the attendees
Now, if I wanted to, then this is our setup. This is and very simple. Then I just press broadcast and I start my webinar. Now, if I want to go live into Facebook, I come down here, I click live Facebook or live on YouTube, or if I've got a custom streaming service, you'll be able to use your custom streaming service down here, polling, Q and A's. So people will be able to ask a question and this is where you'll see it. Of course, obviously there is chat as well. Is that set up yet? There is there's chat right here. And so people can actually chat away as well. So guys, this is how you set up a Zoom webinar. Uh, if you liked what you saw, make sure you press the like button, uh, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you receive a notification every time we go live on, oh sorry, create a brand new video with YouTube. Bye for now, speak soon.